at our state capitol where the General Assembly ended its regular session at midnight and agreed to meet in special session later this month. Well, the goal, a budget deal to close that two year five billion dollar reading problem but it appears tonight but that both sides may already be headed for a budget stalemate chief political correspondent mark davis joins us to explain why hi mark hi ann and darren good evening everyone from the hartford newsroom yeah and that's definitely the way it looks one of the things that's definitely is still on the table are potential cuts to municipal aid and that could have a potential impact eventually on your household budget the annual summer pilgrimage to your city or town hall to pay the first installment of your property taxes comes late next month as the bills will be coming to your home shortly. But you could be in for a shock with the second payment at the end of the year. That's because the assembly is moving toward allowing cities and towns to adjust tax bills because of the potential of more municipal funding cuts in the final state budget. Republican leaders are digging in and say that the state labor union concessions announced by the governor two weeks ago while looking pretty good for the next two years is a bad deal after that. What I don't think is they were anywhere near enough and coupled with a five-year extension ties the hands of this state, of future governors, future legislators, and most importantly, the citizens of the state. Republicans say labor laws covering state employees must be changed, eliminating overtime and arbitration of contract settlements after the current deal expires in four years. The Speaker of the House, whose full-time job is with one of the state labor unions, says that is not going to be on the table. The governor, who says his administration has already greatly reduced overtime and that the labor concession deal, in addition to saving the targeted $1.5 billion over the next two years, will save $24 billion over the next two decades. The labor savings um, um, meets our target. Um, and is a uh, outstanding long-term adjustment to uh, the state's uh, fiscal difficulties. So as you can see, uh, these uh, labor concession, this labor concession deal versus getting more appears to be a very big roadblock into reaching a budget agreement by the end of this month. Incidentally, the labor unions involved, and there are 15 of them, won't even be voting on this potential concession deal until sometime, or won't be finished voting, sometime in the middle of next month, July. In the meantime, the governor says his office is preparing for what he'll do if he has to run the state without a state budget agreement. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.